Struggling to break free from your bad habits? Do you find yourself constantly battling the same issues, feeling like you're stuck in a never-ending loop? It's a common struggle, but there is hope. Discover the ancient wisdom and psychological techniques that can help you transform your life by simply doing the opposite. Imagine the power of making a conscious choice to act differently, to step out of your comfort zone and to embrace change with open arms. We often find ourselves trapped in cycles of behavior we wish to change. These cycles can feel like an unbreakable web holding us back from reaching our true potential. But what if there was a way to break free from these patterns? But what if the key to breaking free lies in doing the unexpected? By making choices that are the opposite of what we usually do, we can disrupt these cycles and create new positive habits. It's about stepping off the beaten path and daring to be different. Let's explore the power of doing the opposite by delving into the teachings of the Stoic philosopher Epictetus and the renowned psychiatrist Viktor Frankl. These great minds have provided us with timeless wisdom that can guide us in our journey towards self-improvement. We'll uncover how their combined wisdom offers practical solutions to overcome negative habits and unlock a world of positive change. By applying their teachings, we can learn to celebrate small victories, practice mindfulness and achieve milestones we once thought were out of reach. Get ready to embark on a journey of self-discovery and learn how to harness the power of the opposite to transform your life. This journey will not only inspire you, but also equip you with the tools needed to make lasting changes. So are you ready to take the first step towards a better you? Let's begin this transformative journey together. For centuries, philosophers and thinkers have grappled with the human condition, seeking answers to life's complexities. These timeless questions have led to profound insights that continue to resonate in our modern world. The wisdom of the ancients, combined with contemporary understanding, offers a rich tapestry of knowledge that can guide us through the challenges of today. One such area of exploration has been the nature of habits and how they shape our lives. Habits, those seemingly small actions repeated over time, can have a monumental impact on our overall well-being. By examining our daily routines and the habits we cultivate, we can gain a deeper understanding of ourselves and the forces that drive our behavior. From the ancient Stoics to modern psychology, the idea of doing the opposite has emerged as a powerful tool for personal transformation. This concept, rooted in the teachings of great minds, suggests that by consciously choosing actions contrary to our ingrained patterns, we can break free from negative behaviors and unlock our true potential. Mindfulness practices, cognitive behavioral techniques and therapeutic interventions all draw from this principle, offering practical strategies for change. This concept suggests that by consciously choosing actions contrary to our ingrained patterns, we can break free from negative behaviors and unlock our true potential. Imagine the power of deliberately taking a different path, of breaking the chains that bind us to unproductive habits. This journey of self-discovery and growth is not without its challenges, but the rewards are profound. By embracing the discomfort of change, we can transform our lives in meaningful ways. In this exploration, we'll delve into the teachings of two prominent figures, uh, Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher known for his emphasis on self-control and the importance of focusing on what we can control. His wisdom teaches us to accept the things we cannot change and to find strength in our ability to choose our responses. And Viktor Frankl, a psychiatrist who found meaning in the face of unimaginable suffering. Frankl's experiences in the concentration camps during World War II led him to develop logotherapy, a form of existential analysis that emphasizes finding purpose in life. His insights remind us that even in the darkest of times, we have the power to find meaning and to rise above our circumstances. Together, the teachings of Epictetus and Frankl offer a powerful framework for navigating the complexities of modern life, blending ancient wisdom with contemporary solutions. Epictetus, a Greek Stoic philosopher who lived from 55 to 135 AD, believed that true freedom stemmed from understanding and accepting what we can control, our thoughts and actions, and letting go of what we cannot. He famously said, We are disturbed not by what happens to us, but by our thoughts about what happens to us. Epictetus urged his students to practice self-awareness, recognizing their automatic responses to situations and challenging them. 
He advocated for trying the opposite as a way to break free from negative patterns and develop virtue. By consciously choosing a different course of action, we assert control over our minds and cultivate positive habits. Centuries later, Viktor Frankl, an Austrian neurologist and psychiatrist, echoed this sentiment through his groundbreaking work on logotherapy. Having endured the horrors of Nazi concentration camps, Frankl emerged with a profound understanding of the human spirit's resilience. He posited that even in the darkest of times, we have the freedom to choose our attitude and find meaning. Frankl developed paradoxical intention, a technique where individuals confront their fears by doing the opposite of what they would typically do. This approach, he argued, disrupts the cycle of anxiety and allows individuals to gain control over their reactions. Breaking the chains of habit. But how do these ancient philosophies and psychological techniques translate into practical solutions for breaking bad habits today? The answer lies in understanding the nature of habits themselves. Habits are essentially ingrained patterns of behavior that operate on autopilot, often without conscious thought. They are formed through repetition and reinforcement, creating neural pathways in our brains that become stronger with each repetition. Breaking these chains requires conscious effort and a willingness to disrupt these automatic responses. This is where the power of doing the opposite comes into play. The procrastination paradox action cures all. Procrastination, a common foe that plagues many, exemplifies how doing the opposite can be a game changer. We often procrastinate because of fear, self-doubt or a lack of motivation. The more we give in to these feelings, the, the stronger they become, creating a vicious cycle of inaction. However, by applying the principle of doing the opposite, we can break free from this trap. Instead of waiting for motivation to strike, take a small step towards your goal, no matter how insignificant it may seem. The act of taking action, however small, creates momentum, disrupts the cycle of procrastination and builds self-efficacy. From couch potato to marathon runner, the body in motion. The principle of doing the opposite extends beyond mental habits to physical ones as well. Consider the challenge of overcoming a sedentary lifestyle. The more time we spend on the couch, the harder it becomes to muster the energy and motivation to exercise. And um, however, by consciously choosing to move our bodies, even in small ways, we can gradually shift this pattern. Start with a short walk, a few stretches or a dance break. As we experience the positive effects of movement, our motivation grows and what was once a chore becomes an enjoyable part of our routine. Sarah's journey, conquering fear with courage. Let's delve into a real life example to illustrate the transformative power of doing the opposite. This is the story of Sarah, a young woman who faced her fears and emerged victorious. Sarah, a bright and capable young woman, had always harbored a dream of becoming a public speaker. She envisioned herself on grand stages, sharing her ideas and inspiring others. However, this dream was overshadowed by a crippling fear of public speaking. The mere thought of standing in front of an audience made her heart pound and her hands shake. The thought of standing in front of an audience sent shivers down her spine, causing her to avoid any opportunity that came her way. She would make excuses, find ways to dodge speaking engagements, and even skipped events where she might be called upon to speak. This avoidance became a pattern, a cycle that seemed impossible to break. Sarah felt trapped by her own fear, watching as others took the opportunities she longed for. However, one day, Sarah stumbled upon the teachings of Epictetus and Viktor Frankl. Their words resonated deeply with her, sparking a desire to change. She realized that to conquer her fear, she had to face it head on. Inspired by their philosophies, Sarah decided to take a bold step. She began practicing her speeches in front of a mirror, visualizing herself speaking confidently to an audience. To further challenge herself, she joined a public speaking group. This was a significant move as it forced her to step outside her comfort zone and confront her fear in a supportive environment. Initially, her heart raced, her palms sweated and her voice trembled. Each session was a battle against her anxiety, but Sarah was determined. She knew that persistence was key. With each speech, her confidence grew. She began to see progress, however small. The supportive feedback from her group members bolstered her spirits and encouraged her to keep going. 
Over time, the fear that had once paralyzed her began to dissipate. Sarah found herself not only speaking more confidently, but also enjoying the process. She celebrated each milestone, no matter how minor, and used them as stepping stones to further growth. Eventually, Sarah's hard work paid off. She was invited to speak at larger events, and her speeches were met with applause and admiration. Her journey from fear to courage became an inspiration to many. Today, Sarah mentors others who face similar fears, sharing her story and the strategies that helped her overcome her anxiety. Her journey is a testament to the power of courage and the transformative impact of facing one's fears. Sarah's story reminds us that while fear can be overwhelming, it is not insurmountable. With determination, support, and the willingness to step outside our comfort zones, we can conquer our fears and achieve our dreams. The Transformative Power of Choice Sarah's story highlights the transformative power of choice. By consciously choosing to do the opposite of what her fear dictated, she broke free from its grip and unlocked her potential. The beauty of doing the opposite lies in its simplicity and accessibility. It doesn't require complex strategies or external resources. It simply demands a willingness to examine our habits, challenge our automatic responses and make a conscious choice to act differently. This approach empowers us to become active participants in our own transformation. Your journey to freedom starts now. As we've seen, the wisdom of Epictetus and Viktor Frankl offers timeless insights into the human condition and provides practical tools for breaking free from negative patterns. By embracing the principle of doing the opposite, we tap into a powerful force for change that resides within each of us. Remember, change is a process, not an overnight event. Be patient with yourself, celebrate small victories, and don't be afraid to stumble along the way. The most important step is to start. Embrace the opposite, embrace change. In a world often driven by routine and predictability, doing the opposite invites us to embrace the unexpected and step outside our comfort zones. It encourages us to question our assumptions, challenge our limitations, and approach life with a sense of curiosity and adventure. By embracing the opposite, we open ourselves up to a world of possibilities and unlock our true potential. So the next time you find yourself stuck in a rut, remember the power of doing the opposite. A world of possibilities awaits. Take a deep breath, make a conscious choice to act differently and watch as your life transforms before your very eyes. The journey may be challenging at times, but the rewards are immeasurable. Embrace the opposite, embrace change, and step into a world of possibilities that awaits you. The wisdom of Epictetus and the techniques of Viktor Frankl teach us that sometimes the best way to overcome our habits is to do the opposite of what we've always done. It's about breaking the cycle and finding new, healthier patterns. This approach can be a game changer for your mental and emotional well-being. Thanks for joining me on this journey to explore the power of opposites in breaking bad habits. I challenge you to try the opposite in your own life and share your experiences in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more insights and tips on personal transformation. Let's break the cycle together and find new paths to a healthier, happier life.